Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? Welcome back to another Flexi Gags video, and this is my first video of 2025. Alright guys, so this time we are gonna do a tutorial on how to uh, set up trajectories and a lot of people are confused about it and uh, doesn't know how to use it very well. So I'm gonna clear that out for you guys, so sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, so this video was requested by one of my subscribers and I'm really happy to help you out and here we go. Before we start, uh, make sure to like this video, subscribe and press that bell icon and support me. Also, a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, Granada Spice Mass 2024. Alright guys, so let's begin this tutorial. So, let's spawn a secondary vehicle like the Phantom X8 or something. And uh, now we got two cars over here. Alright guys, so what you gotta do next is you can actually switch between these two cars, right? Uh, so, select your desired vehicle for the AI. So, let's go to the menu over here and select change so it will switch to the range rover so we're gonna change the car right now so here we go we have switched to the range rover all right so the next step is you have to assign a trajectory for this car so open up the settings and on the top you can see the trajectory i can uh, press and hold and go to the right on the top so we open up the trajectory settings over here so we don't want this old thing so we're gonna make a new path over here so what you're gonna do is you have to press the record button so it will start recording your movements let's hit the record button and it immediately starts recording your movements so what you're gonna do is uh, drive around and as you can see a trail appears on the rear of the range rover and this means we are you know making a path for the AI to run so basically we are programming this car to run uh, the way we want Alright guys, so hit the stop recording button on the top and uh, it will ask you to name the, you know, path, uh, basically a preset. So we are going to name this AI, so AI and submit and it is saved. Also if you tap on this gear icon in this trajectory, uh, you can see small settings over here, you can mess around with these, uh, you can set delay of the car, so basically that means you can uh, set few seconds uh, after that certain number of seconds the car starts moving so basically it's a timer for your car to start and acceleration and braking so I never used this uh, that much uh, so you can you know uh, experiment with these settings it's up to you so once you tap on the play icon over here the car starts moving so basically this is uh, how we drove earlier so it's going to the path which we already created Alright guys, so the trajectory system isn't that great in this because it doesn't mimic your driving style at all. It doesn't copy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's an example. We never flipped our car while we were recording the path. So basically, it doesn't reflect your driving style. It doesn't copy anything which you do. It just, cre it just uh, you know, goes to the path which we went. That's all. So like I said, it isn't that great, uh, but you can pretty much have a lot of fun with this though. It is as simple as that guys, it's nothing complicated and that's how you actually create the trajectory and run them. As you can see, it, uh, it's uh, running and I'm not driving at all, it's going by itself now. Uh, going to the path which we created. And also if you go on the top left corner over here, the trajectory icon, if you press on uh, pause trajectories, the car immediately stops uh, following the path and shuts down and crashes somewhere as you can see. And from the same settings you can reset the trajectories and it will respawn at the starting point here. So from the same trajectory menu if you tap on run trajectories it will quickly start doing the path which we already created earlier. So that's a quick way to play trajectories which you already created. Alright guys so now we are going to do multiple car trajectories. So for that we have to switch our car to the uh, Audi over here and now we are going to open up the trajectory settings uh, over here open up and now you just need to press the record button and now you have to do do the driving over here and i'm gonna fast forward this part guys all right guys so we have recorded and stopped the trajectory and name this ai2 so we have two of them now so Tick mark uh, these two and 
and from the quick trajectory menu which is located on the top left corner you know you need to open that up and tap on run trajectory so it will run every trajectory you have selected together and tap on run trajectories as you can see both these cars are following the path which we created so this is pretty dope right i mean it's pretty easy as well i hope uh, it's clear to you guys but i mean the trajectories won't be that uh, perfect as you can see uh, it's it's a pretty fun thing to do actually even though it's not perfect it's pretty fun so guys uh, that was a pretty easy you know thing to do i mean setting up trajectories it is really easy just follow my steps which i did earlier and you know it's pretty simple once you get used to it uh, you know you'll never get confused so this is uh, pretty simple even i even i was like really confused when using these but now i know how to use them and you know you can spawn what i'm going to do next is you can spawn a new vehicle here let's spawn mark uh, the mustang no oh my god the spawning is awful man so now uh, you know spawn a new vehicle uh, in my case i'm gonna you know spawn the spectre gt because i paid for this car so why not so for this car we are not gonna set up trajectories uh, so basically we are gonna play with this car so before we move on you know i need to show you guys something open up the trajectory settings over here prepare trajectories and it will reset the cars where it was i mean wherever your car is set it will reset uh, at that place also guys you can individually activate one of the trajectory cars if you go to the a2 and tap on play the audi starts going and if you tap on play on the ai the first car and as you can see the range rover starts moving so basically you can control these uh, trajectories uh, individually uh, as simple as that all right guys so maybe let's chase down these two cars uh, go here and run trajectories and both these cars starts moving and maybe it's like you can play a different kind of stuff you can you can play chase uh, cops and robbers and stuff like that so basically that's how i did my previous uh, cop versus robber video you can check that out i'll leave the card over here on the top and also i noticed that my frames are dropping a lot over here maybe it's because one of these cars maybe the range rover i don't know guys maybe maybe because of the map and i'm not playing on my phone by the way i'm using my tablet over here it's pretty much powerful a little bit powerful than my phone so uh, even my tablet can't handle this i mean it's maybe the range rover i guess i don't know guys i usually don't get uh, fps drops i mean when i spawn three cars uh, but all of a sudden i'm losing frames over here so uh, that's about it guys i hope it's all clear now i hope uh, i made it easier i don't know if i made it easier but uh, let me know down in the comments below guys so use your creative head uh, you know create awesome scenarios it's up to you it's uh, you know you have a lot of endless possibilities here you know create your own story and you know and that's how you use trajectories guys you can have a lot of fun with these also i hope i helped you guys over here if you you know if this video helped you i'm really glad that i helped you uh, i don't know if i did a good job uh, on explaining things over here but uh, i did my level best to you know uh, you know share whatever i know to you guys so let me know your thoughts down below guys on this uh, video and uh, see you on the next one until then bye bye take care